Hey, Polish people. I am here with Nia Long at the Stewart Speaker Series. Um, Ms. Long, can you talk to us about why it's so important to share your influence and make that impact in the world in general and specifically in your career? I think a sense of community is really important to me to be able to actually sit and talk to the people, to meet you, to see you, for you to feel that I see you, mm -hmm. that I respect what you do, that I support what you do, that black people have a space and a room for community and conversation that we can ask those questions that you often wonder and that I may take for granted. It's, um, it's always important to me to come back and be um, accessible to my brothers and sisters, no matter where they are in the world, and for us to be able to dialogue. I just, I, it's one of my favorite things to do. I like when you ask me questions because I have a lot to say, but it may not be what you want to hear or that you need to hear. Right. And so, you know, um, the industry that I'm in is a business of service, and, and I'm being of service to my community when I come out and see you guys and support what you're doing. Definitely, and um, you are iconic to all of us in the like film um, area and genre. Like, can you talk to us about who is influencing you now, and um, you're just seeing them and want to give them their flowers? Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, you know, I I saw Angela Bassett about a week before the Oscars, mm -hmm. and. The Angie that I know is the Angie who was in Boys in the Hood, who is this amazing actress who I was in awe of just even on the set of Boys in the Hood and who I watched as another brown skinned black woman who has been in the trenches, who has done some of what no one else has done. And she should have won the Oscar in my opinion, without a shadow of a doubt, I was not happy about that. I don't think the community was happy about that. Um, no disrespect to Jamie Lee Curtis, but there's no comparison between Angela Bassett and Jamie Lee Curtis. There just is not. And, but when I saw her, she, I gave her a big hug and I was like, I can't wait for the Oscars next week. I'm so excited for you, I'm praying for you. And she just, um, she grabbed me by my face and she said, just remember you're the prize. And it came out of nowhere. Like we weren't talking about anything for specific. I was giving her all the love and support. And, you know, I was excited and, um, you know, you need your big sisters to remind you of that. And, you know, Angela's just, in my mind, she's perfection. She's graceful. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's a mom. She's a wife. She's done it all. And this business can be extremely, um, it can beat you up, you know? And those are the moments that no one sees, but we all know as artists. Mm -hmm. And I think she handles it incredibly graceful. And she's also one of people's 100 most influential people in the world. It was announced oh, today. Yeah. Yay. So, yay, Angie, we love you. Thank you so much for that. And of last question is what would you, what piece of advice would you give to um, someone on the brink of their career and um, just want to continue to make the great story greater? Be patient with yourself. Have fun during the process. And don't be afraid to say no to the things that don't feel authentic to you. Thank you. And that goes across the board. That's just not for actors. That's for anyone in business. That's just life advice that I would give to my younger self, that I would give, that I give to my kids, that I give to young women. That's just what I believe. I think black people are so focused on survival that sometimes we forget to enjoy the moments right in front of us. That's awesome. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. No, no worries.